Let's go forward, please. This extends quite a long way to the left and the right. In the extremities, we have a number of bat colonies that live there. Yeah. Um, we don't go that far, of course, but disturb them. They, they, they did used to do bat tours there, but that was stopped at the beginning of 2020. It may be reinstituted again, I don't know at the moment. And then this, this, this whole area is, is open in the front here, open all the way along, and the other open in the various places. So you can see the air is very fresh here. There's no unpleasant odor or anything like that at all. Then we have these vaults here with these squarish areas, again called loculi, of which there are 280 in total. Approximately 70 are not in use. Why would that be? Well, either they were never used or used as a temporary resting place. Sadly, in the 60s, this place was vandalized rather badly. And apparently people broke in here. They took some of the bodies out and did all sorts of rituals with them. And that's all been stopped now, unfortunately. You can see they're mostly individually owned here. Occasionally you'll see two or three together from a family. In the corners here are smaller uh, areas for smaller people, or probably children. There's a little coffin up there, which is probably a child's coffin. Now to show you the classic example of a buff down burial, we'll go over to this side here. And there's an empty lock here, which has probably never been used. We'll just gather around here, you can see what I was talking about earlier. I wouldn't touch anything. <laughs> I wouldn't my catch. <laughs> okay, so we've got the a, a number of loculi here. Here they're made with a glass pane, for example, so again, people could peer in to make sure no one was interfering with the coffins. And on this particular uh, coffin here, the outer casing has decayed away to reveal the underlying lead. And you might be able to see there's a sort of crisscross or diamond shaped pattern etched into the surface. It's a bit difficult to see in this particular light, but it, it's just all over this coffin here. They call it a diaper. I mean, American listeners will know what that is, and it's sort of nappy in English, uh, English English, uh, because it's the same shape probably as the coffin pattern in a diaper. Why that was done, nobody has ever discovered. So we've looked into it, looked into it, but we just don't know why. And it's not on all of the coffins, this one doesn't have it, for example. But if you go to other Victorian cemeteries, you'll see it all over the place as well. So there was a custom certainly in that, era, in, in that period. By the way, nothing has been touched here since the restoration was actually absolutely found. So, for example, that was here. No, no one has moved anything at all. Some of the coffins are in better uh, condition. This one here, for example, has very nice brass work, still being still intact on the exterior of the coffin. It's possibly a lead, uh, 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 a lead coffin cap covered by uh, oak here. This one very similar. Not so good up here. Already the outer casing is starting to decay away. Similarly, on the other side, let's make sure I don't shine into anyone's eyes here. You can see coffins with some of the brass work here. Some of it is better condition than others. And here, empty ones again. A very good idea, an example of the smaller corner lock here, here for children or smaller people. We will walk along a little bit. Just watch your footing. Okay, 